Let's begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the gift of the season of Easter. We thank you for this academic year coming to a close and graduations happening and a lot of transition. So we ask your blessing upon all of that, but upon this video as well, so that we can do it in one take through mm -hmm. Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I am sitting here with Jacob Fong, who uh, has been one of our great students here at the Newman Center. And Jacob, you are finally graduating and uh, going on to your next adventure. Yes, Father. I want you to um, tell me a little bit about, kind of encapsulate your Iowa experience in the different things that you got involved in. So I'll just let you okay. take it from there. And, yeah. So I transferred here when I was a junior in college. I came from junior college back in Long Beach, California, where I'm from. And yeah, right when I got here, I got involved with the Newman Center. I still remember the day walking across the the uh, Pentecost and seeing the volleyball and then getting uh, okay. hooked up with Andy Simons and Kaden Lambert and that whole group. And then, um, yeah, the rest was history after that, with meeting all those guys and girls. And then, yeah, then I got hooked up with the manager program here for the University of Iowa baseball team. Was that after you arrived or is that part of the reason you came? Um, I wouldn't say it was definitely not part of the reason I came, but I got, um, I knew I was going to be part of it before I came. Okay. Because there was a whole job application for it and I got to meet Coach Heller and other uh, players uh, when they were in UC Irvine back oh, in okay. California. Yes. All right. So, all right. So... Uh, you were manager mm -hmm. of baseball two years? Yes. All right. Uh, what are you studying? What are you getting a degree in? So I'm studying political science. Okay. Yeah, so that'll be my degree, bachelor's degree. And where are you moving off to now? What's, what's the next challenge? What's the next part of your adventure? So I'll stay here for another year, and uh, I'm applying to be a firefighter. So I just applied for Des Moines and Davenport and see what happens with that. And the plan is I'll be working and building my resume uh, just to do as much as I can to sure. get hired from these departments as the years go on. Okay. So Steve yes. and Heidi, mm -hmm. uh, you sent your son away from California out to <laughs> Iowa. Sure did. First of all, whose decision, I mean, obviously it was your decision, but who, who was inspired to say Iowa is the place to go? Is there any family connection here? Yes. I'll let him explain that part. Yeah. Okay. Tell so I had a I have a high school coach and he's like family oh, that's right. yeah the the Jondal family and they uh, they're all from Iowa and they moved out to California and then he took a group of us out uh, our freshman year of college to Iowa City just to see his old university and see everything Amazing. that he always talks about and I fell in love with it and then I got hooked up with uh, his brother who lives in Bettendorf who they're like family to me now and uh, yeah just. It was, I always felt like I had family here, so I was never worried. And uh, yeah, felt like I was, yeah. Always yeah. A lot of people don't know that Long Beach in California was a big spot for Iowans <clears throat> to move out there 40s, 50s time. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of people. For, so whenever you talk to someone, they're like, oh yeah, my family's from Iowa. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it kind of just kind of fit in. It made it, made it an easier choice. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Steve and Heidi, I hope you're as proud of Jacob as I am. He just got involved here. His faith is very important to him. I'm guessing that kind of comes from family, but tell me your your background uh, in your faith. So I was, um, I guess, a cradle Catholic. I mean, I was born <laughs> into it. I, I've been a Catholic my whole life. Sure. I went to Catholic school. I was um, in Catholic elementary, you know, kindergarten through eighth grade, and then my high school Catholic. And then um, that was the one thing when we got married. Um, he wasn't... Um, really of a religion but he confirmed growing up but okay. was not really with practicing too often so i just said that that's okay because you're a great man and you have great morals but i just i want to get married in the catholic church i want to baptism baptize our children i want them to go to catholic school and he was said yes to all of that and so i said okay <laughs> then we can we can continue and go okay. further and then so they um, went to this, we got married at the same elementary school that in my parish forever that I've been to. And uh, the kids went to that school, got baptized at that school, they ended up going to the same high school I went to. Um, that, that was just their choice of a couple schools that they had choices. Okay. And, um, and so I've just been, it's been, my mom is very, my brother, we've all, it's just 
my nieces, my nephew, it's just kind of like, it's weird if it's not a Catholic anything. Yeah. We, we just grew up, that's just, everything's Catholic, really. Okay. And Steve, friend. something happened about 11 years ago, I'm told. Well, 26 years ago, we got married. That kind of started it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so the, the women always get you, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, I, the short side of the story is I tried, I was one of those prideful, typical prideful guys, and I just thought I could, I didn't like a lot of stuff I was seeing in the church at the time, and since I really wasn't that knowledgeable, I was more of all the the wrong information that gets told to everyone out there. So I went through this journey of trying to prove the Catholic Church wrong, okay. and that literally four year journey brought me into the church. Okay. Because every little step of the way, it was not only was everything that I was told or heard was wrong, it was so wrong that the stuff that I was learning about Catholic history, the Catholic fathers of the church, the magisterium. And it was more interesting by far than anything else that I ever read, almost to the point where I felt like I was had been robbed of a history that we all should have known and still should know. Like sure. it's, so it's it uh it's, yeah, it was a journey about four years before I, I came into the church and then that was eleven years ago and then uh, it's been a nonstop okay. journey since then because there's so I mean, there's so much to learn and know. Yeah. It's like that's it's, great. It's life changing for sure. Family changing, definitely. Well Jake, I'm glad that you came to Iowa. I'm glad you're sticking around for a while, taking some fire science classes. Yes, um, fire science and most likely EMT course okay. as well. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Well, I just wanted to 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 bring uh, Jacob in because our mission is to make disciples for the church and the world, and I uh, this is Exhibit A. So uh, pray for all of our graduates in the transition of moving from Newman Center to wherever. Uh, God is calling them, uh, that they'll find a good uh, spiritual home and continue to grow. And we will see you at Mass. Thank you and God Amen. bless. <laughs> Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Well, thank you.